Hey everybody, Tracy Brown here. Hope you're doing really well. And I really appreciate all of the comments and just the positive feedback from the last couple days post, yesterday's post, Monday's video. Really, really appreciate it and I'm glad you all are here. So anyway, so your somatic nutrition therapist is here and we are gonna talk a little bit about emotions and sensations. And <clears throat> if you don't remember anything else from the rest of this video, what I'm gonna say is that these are all your they're the messenger. They're the messenger of sometimes very simple things like I'm hungry, um, I gotta go to the bathroom, I'm tired, whatever it is. And then, you know, sometimes we, if we're not accustomed to feeling certain things, feeling certain emotions, um, we get scared or we get frustrated or we get mad or we just don't want to have them. And I think this this video could go on and on for hours, so I'm going to try to keep it simple and not overcomplicate it. But what I I'm just going to give you some things that I remember from my own recovery, because I, I woke up this morning thinking about, oh my gosh, it's November, and 22 years ago this month, I was probably at almost the worst I could ever be in terms of like mentally, emotionally, physically. Um, pretty much at bottom and I didn't know that in a few short months we're talking three months probably after this time that um, I would be just inundated with a ton of emotion that I didn't understand um, and it happened because basically I stopped being numb I stopped starving as much and there was still some binging in there too but the you know, after about three months of really focused, um, three to four months of really focused, I mean, just all out. I don't want to use the word warfare, but there's a little bit of like, I'm going to do what I got to do. And every single day it was really uncomfortable. I would have guilt. I would have fear. I have anxiousness about it, but I would just do one meal and one snack at a time. And I remember that the longer I did that, the more I would start having days where it's like I'd wake up with just irritability. And it didn't quite match. It didn't make sense. And now I, you know, with all my own experience and training, I understand that like when we are not using adaptive functions as much uh, or they don't have the same hold on us as they used to um, and our thinking is changing, is that we start to feel all this other stuff that maybe was from last week or from 20 years ago um, that is just getting released from our nervous system and it can feel big it can feel difficult um, so basically what I'm going to share with you is I just probably spent two months um, just being really 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 angry and sometimes it's specific things but most of the time it was just this overall general Rage is a strong word, but a lot of anger. Um, you know, I learned to be angry at diet culture, and that helped me a ton. I learned to be angry um, to just let it, just acknowledge it. Now, I wasn't very good at it, and I made a lot of mistakes of like expressing it and feeling a little bit of it and thinking, oh, that's bad and wrong. I shouldn't be mad about that. So I would just suppress it. So it took me a lot. I mean, it wasn't just like that, it's a big epiphany, like, oh, I feel lots of anger, and I'm really cool with it. It wasn't like that. But what I want you to understand that eating, either restricting less, binging less, is going to um, mobilize this stored away stuff. And so it's okay. Um, you might not have a place to attach it to. Sometimes you're really clear, like, oh, I'm really angry that I read those stupid magazines that made me think that like sugar was bad or, or, or fat was bad and um, I'm really angry at the culture that puts out garbage like this that um, that manipulates vulnerable people. I'm really angry about that. Good. We should be. And sometimes it was anger that just didn't have a match to it and I kind of had to learn how to ride the waves of that and I had to get a lot of support with that. I wasn't good at it at all. And the reason I'm talking to you about this, we could, we could be talking about shame, anger, um, fear, all the emotions, that they're gonna come up as we restrict or binge less. And that's normal. 
It's, just, it's supposed to happen. It's a good thing. But what's scary for us is that if we have a background of feeling like those aren't acceptable, they're too much, we're too much, um, and we just don't even have a language for it or don't even recognize it in our bodies as the sensations they are when they come up, we're very vulnerable to like then blaming the body again and then getting back in this looping cycle. So I'm, I'm talking to you all, all about that, that when you feel something arise, please don't try to suppress it. Please do something. Cry, write, <laughs> jump in the pool, um, walk the dog. Um, if you have a higher power, like, help me, help me, help me, help me, help me. If you're working with support, keep like saying, I have these sensations. I don't know what this is about. I don't like it, but talk about it. Um, you know, and talking is not going to like long term be the only thing that helps you, but at the beginning to keep yourself from suppressing it or numbing it back out, then you do what you got to do essentially to not do that and, and you know, get out of that pattern of like running. And speaking of running, if you're a person who was like me and I would call myself a runner, which is, oh, I'd feel something uncomfortable and before you can even snap your fingers, um, I would just go do something. And that's not always bad, but it was kind of bad for me. It was kind of compulsive. So literally working out or working or doing something to externally validate me somehow kind of thing. So thank you for the question. Um, uh, well, I kind of answered the question, I would not turn inward. Um, every single time you feel something, like do a cry face, do a growl face, do, do coloring. Um, journal it out. Um, I know that's what you're used to, but the only thing you can do is you have to say, no, I'm not, you might even have to name it out loud. No, I'm not going to ignore that, that sensation. Now, I'm not talking about thoughts. Thoughts are a whole different game. Like if you're hearing in your head, oh, you're not good enough. If you don't lose weight, you have to like say, no, no, I'm not listening to that. No, I don't have to lose weight to be happy, healthier, prettier, whatever. No, no, you, there is a, lo a level of like, I'm not, I'm not going to play. I'm not playing with that. From a sensation emotion perspective, we have to, and sometimes it, when I say have to, we don't have to do anything, but if you want to, that sensation kind of needs to be uncoupled from, um, behaviors and, um, I, I highly recommend if you, don't have support for that you get support because that's difficult to just like just do that but you might need to do some physical things you know um balance on a stability ball rock on a stability ball um you know that's i mean again there's dozens and dozens of things you can do that um you, know, you might need to get your hands in the dirt and and uh run in place whatever but it's really important to um whatever it is it's something that's go in a different direction to build a new neural pathway and here's another good example when you feel something good or you feel empowered by like oh that, that die voice in my head wanted me to like not eat the carbs at breakfast and so it's like okay no that's not what empowered grown-ups do they don't let like external rules rule them we're not going to do that i'm wondering what's feeling so much right now and can i be with that you know what's happening here and can i be with that that's another good statement to make and it could just be diet voice. You just have to shut down and do what you need to do. Or sometimes you go, I need to sit with this. I need to be with this. I need to ask questions of this. Um, I need to like rock in a rocking chair and cry. That's what I need to do. And then I'll eat my breakfast. Or I need to like take some deep breaths and find my feet and then eat my carbs for breakfast. Um, but anything you can do that's different than what you typically, the habit is to do, we need to do that. And so there's a level of all that. If you feel like you need more support, like somebody to be with you, somebody to remind you, hey, I'm here with you. You might need to do that too. So there's all kinds of layers and le layers of this you might need to do. Um, but it's really important. So if you're struggling with like, gosh, I'm really struggling with like knowing my edge with fullness. And I've talked about this in tons of other videos. Um, so please, um, I collect all these videos and put them on YouTube. So if you're looking for more videos like this, more videos to help you slow down, they're there like three or four years, I think maybe four now, four years of resources of videos to help you with topics like this. But um, 
it's really, really important to um, you know, build safety to be able to do this. So what I mean by that is you, know, you look around, do you feel safe? And then can I feel this? Again, layer it, layer it, layer it. If you're struggling with binge eating and you're having a hard time, like, I know I'm full, but I don't really want to stop. Okay, well, bounce on your ball. Feel what you got to feel, and then you can make a decision from that place. And I'm bouncing because it's it's settling. It's settling to the nervous system to do those kind of things. We need to, like, give ourselves what we need so we don't continue to repress and numb out and all those things. So, anyway, I hope this video was helpful. I'm really passionate, obviously, about this topic um, because I... Um, I think that it's super important to, yes, it is true that the more we normalize our eating from whatever other spectrum you're coming from, the more quickly, um, you can get to a place of, um, equilibrium around making decisions around food, around your life, whatever. But I know sometimes it's a little harder to get there when you have to get through a layer of, the sensation, this emotion feels uncomfortable. And so, um, what's the word? You know, use tools for that, use your support. And if all you can do is say, yeah, I'm feeling some sensations and I don't know if I can deal, that's a good start. That's a good place to start. So, um, I want to let you all know that it took me years to get to this place of like, ooh, something's coming up and if it doesn't feel so good, but let's go there. Um, it takes time, it takes practice, and it really takes a lot of support and loving kindness from the people that like totally believe you and can hang. And they're not trying to make you just get over it. Um, they understand that you need to... Hey, sorry about that. froze a little bit. Anyway, um, I hope this video was helpful. And if you have any questions or comments, um, you know, please give more thank you so much for all your, for all the viewers today. And, um, for those who left comments, I really appreciate it. If you feel like this video was super helpful, please share it. Um, it's re I think at this time of the year, too, heightened emotions are heightened for all kinds of very good reasons. And so this video might be helpful for people who just have to go into situations where um, it's not all that comfortable. Or we have thoughts from the past that like um, want to try to influence the today. And um, you know, we, do, we do have something. We have things that we can do about that. So thank you so much for watching. Um, again, if you're also looking for a stockpile of videos like that, if you're looking, because I don't do videos every single day. Most days I do. But if you're looking for more and you like this content, I mean, um, all this can be found here, obviously, on my Facebook page here. But if you want, like, a collection of things that you can easily find, I put all those on YouTube as well. They're there. And I'm hoping to see you all real soon. Take care. Bye.